that was me, Ricky. <laughs> I just wiped out the camera. <laughs> Still happy with that? Yes! Is that him? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, as big as my forearm. There we are, stepped up to sweet corn uh, from maggot to avoid the minnows. Whoa, they're wiry, so I'm gonna get it back. Stunning, stunning little fish. Thanks for choosing to watch the video. Um, in this one, we are grayling fishing. Um, it's a real treat for me. Uh, each year we do this you might be able to see behind me i've got dan with me uh he's been catching while i've been perch fishing he's been out catching loads of really nice grayling uh so hopefully i can get amongst them today too um love this style of fishing um you know i've literally just got a rod a reel i've got a small bag and a net and it's the same as a lot of my fishing you know like my perch my chub my barbel all of those love roving love uh traveling light hopefully we'll get some fish today Just recording Dan and he's hooked a decent one. Go on, Dan. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I said, <laughs> Dan, if, I was just recording you, weren't I? I said, <laughs> Mate, if you could just, on land, cue, if you could just get a decent grayling <laughs> while I'm recording you, that'd be ideal. And that there is you go. a corker. There you go. That's what it's about. What a beauty. Wicked, mate. Look at that. Let's hold that one up for the camera, shall we? <sighs> Look at that, as big as my forearm. <laughs> That's got to be coming off for nearly two pounds, at least. How's that done? Um, yeah, well, not, not bad start. <laughs> so cracking down. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I asked you to catch a big one on camera, you did it right on cue. Mate, I, you know, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, you catch the fish today and I'll play with my camera. Oh, well, it'll be nice if I can get a few more like this. I mean, I'm well happy with that. That's not a bad start at that, all. That is cracking. On mate. the pin. Fair play, mate. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Awesome. Look at the colours. Could Absolutely. be a good day. I Only think early. it will be, they're feeding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how about that by Dan? Love that. What a cracking, cracking fish. Uh, I've got to be honest, I had slight reservations about doing video today because, you know, your time on these rivers are so precious uh, that I just wanted to fish. Uh, but uh, hey-ho, it is what it is. Quite nice to create a video, creating memories, and to capture that moment with Dan there. Such a nice fish. Cracking. The grayling. Little, little baby one. We are look, still getting ones around this size. We'll get, we'll get him back. So after a strong start, uh, yeah, the bites are dry, drying up slightly now. Uh, I think it's because these stretches, if I remember from last time, they're quite shallow. Uh, yeah, I think we need to go and find some deep water. Yeah, it is a grayling. I just don't want it in the current. Oh look, he's all tangled. Come on Dan, get him in. Dan's got him. I couldn't do both mate, cheers. Do you know what I mean? It makes a difference, doesn't it, when there's no person. That's a lovely fish. Oh. Might be able to it's turned quite bright now. And I was saying we needed to look for some deeper water. That's exactly what we did. And look, we've got a better stamp of fish. Really pleased with him. <laughs> Cracking. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just quickly going to take you through the outfit that I'm using. I'm using the 13 foot uh, Coron Glide Rod. Um, to be honest, uh, I think there's a 14 foot version of this. Well, I know there is. And I feel like, you know, that would probably be a better, better option, to be honest. That extra, extra length would be good. But I've got the 13 foot Coron Glide. Uh, I've got the JW Young's Trudex Reel uh, on there. So I'm using the center pin. The center pin is loaded with six pound glide mono. Now that might sound a bit heavy, but to be honest, I take more notice of the diameter of the lines. Uh, and actually the, the diameter of the line is actually fairly low given that it's six pounds. So I think that's fine. Onto that, I've got the five gram speci stick that you can see there. That's held on with a few bands, obviously. Five gram Olivet held in place with a couple of quick stops. Uh, I've got a quick change swivel, one of the uh, Corum quick change swivels. And the hook length is three and a half pound, I think three and a half pound braking strain. So nice fine diameter line at the bottom. And I've got a tiny, tiny size 18 hook. Now something that we have found with the hooks is that what's a huge advantage it seems is to use sort of like whisk barb style hooks. Uh, something that's got a really fine wire so yeah that's that's what we found has worked really well in terms of the bait we're using maggot that sometimes single maggot or double maggot uh if the bites dry up on that we are switching that for corn as well we've got it all in the pouch and uh, yeah we're just chopping changing between corn and maggot Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have a brace shot, don't I? You're having <laughs> a brace. It's very tempted to pick Dan's up out of the net. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. There we go. Hey. Cut the stunning grey, Lynn. <laughs> That's what we come for. That is what we come all the way down here for. <laughs> Only do it sort of like a couple of times a year, me. You may be a little bit more than that, but I mean, it's so special. Perfect. So special, isn't it? Getting any bites? No. Nah. I bumped one. I bumped one first run down, and that was it. I can't get a bite. The arm. Dan's got another one. I ain't gonna get the big camera out because it's just a baby, but they're all stunning. Oh. Whoa! Such wrigglers, isn't they? That looks right there. Ooh, Smashing. He's actually took that quite deep. Hasn't has, he? Yeah. yeah. Right, we're just doing a bit of double teaming. We do this now and then, don't it's we, Dan? Tactic. It's our tactic. It's our tactic. <laughs> I'm in charge of maggots. <laughs> Dan's doing the fishing. Uh, we'll just take it in turns. It's a bit more of a crack sometimes, isn't it? Definitely. Absolutely ripped the river apart the other day doing this for chum. Yep. Yeah! Oh! Oh, 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 mate. Come on. He just bumped one. That hurts, <sighs> doesn't it? <laughs> you get used to the pain. The yeah, thing is with grayling, it is like this, isn't it? They, you, you're bumping fish all the time. It's, uh, and, and, and when you do hook one, your heart's absolutely in your mouth, isn't it? Um, they just come, they can come off. If it, I, if it I it see hurts. it, it hurts more. If I don't see it, I'll just say it's a trout. <laughs> That's right, yeah. It's a trout. <laughs> That's right, if you lose them, they're trout. Yes. Yep. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. That looked oh, like grayling. That's a trout. It's a going trout. berserk. One while I was re breaking. Look at us, we're like a cut the clown. We put the rig on there. Uh. All right. Again, you've reached the point of no return, which I hate. I feel like that, yeah. If it's a grayling, it's a good one. Oh, oh it's a massive yeah. trout. I really thought it was a grayling, oh. I really did. I oh. thought it was closer. Oh, we thought it was. Oh. <laughs> Is it <he> gone again? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, don't worry about it, mate. We're not. Again. We're not. We're not here. Um, yeah, I, I was bullying it a bit. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Dan bumped the fish and then lost the trout. So, hopefully, I'll do better than that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on minus one. You're on minus one. <laughs> oh, I saw that. I saw that. 
<laughs> Come on, Nick. What's going on, mate? Oh, f clown. Right, here we are. It's time. That's rubbish. They do come out, though. They do come out. There, there you go. Oh, they, they're hitting they're it right, right at the it. end. Yeah. Right at the end of the run. <clears throat> right, I'm not doing very well here, am I? <laughs> That's minus two. <laughs> I just, just chuck the float on the far bank and got stacked up. What a clown. Minus uh, one, minus right. two. Your turn, your turn, Dan. <laughs> oh, <shit>. oh. <laughs> oh my god. Man, <laughs> just wiped out the camera. <laughs> oh, <c> go. <laughs> look, mammy feet down maggots, do hey, oh, 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 oh. you? There you go, look. <laughs> you got one job. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, this is the one, Dan. Sometimes the trout absolutely wreck it, and I think that's what's happened. You've hooked a couple of big trout, yeah. and they went crazy, didn't they? So, scared of us. Yeah, we'll have to just go away and come back. Right, just do that. Yep. Over the next hour or so, I'd started to struggle, landing nothing but small minnows. Fortunately, Dan was doing the business. Right, so I've just landed this beauty. Oh, that's what a beauty. That's a meaty one, that. That little size really 18 happy. held in. Little size 18 hook. Um, yeah, it was just a little, the finest piece of skin <laughs> on his lip. I managed to get it in. I had to play it very carefully. Um, yeah, Stunning. well happy with that. Wicked. Perfect. <laughs> Beautiful in the sun, sure. Look at that. Lovely. Cheers. <laughs> Literally, Dan had just slipped that back and he had another one straight away. With a bit of patience, things started to come good for me. No. It's a good sign. It's just sitting there at the moment. Grayling? Yep, it's grayling. Just plodding about. Got him! Yeah. <laughs> you did a good job there. <laughs> there you go. There we are. So I'm still getting a few. Not quite as big as the ones Dan's had, but not competition, absolutely is. <laughs> Cracking fish. Oh, he's there. Is that him? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Do it, sir. It's alright. He was bigger than I thought. Sort of mentioned it in my other videos in terms of the technique just keep just keep going more and more shallow until you don't catch the bottom just adjusting the float <laughs> you found a gentleman's seat. <laughs> it's a, a gentleman's chair. <laughs> right, so we go down here. Whoa! Jesus! Whoa! Stop that! Oh no! <laughs> that got you up off your chair, didn't it? <laughs> 
That got you off your gentleman's seat. Cheers, mate. <laughs> 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 went in. That went like a bloody rocket, that did. <laughs> It's suddenly getting very, very dark, very, very quickly. I've got a few spots that I still want to hit on the way back to the car. Probably only got about half an hour, 45 minutes. We've had a fantastic day, to be honest. Can't complain at all. We've had plenty of nice grayling. Um, of course, it'd be nice to end on a lump, like a real proper lump. Uh, but if it doesn't, don't care. It's been a fantastic day. Okay, we've got something on here, Dan. I don't know what it is. <gasps> it's come off. That was a grayling. <sighs> I've just gone deeper, Dan. I've just literally set it deeper and straight away had one. Yeah, I'm definitely getting bites now. Made such a difference. Oh, let's swap to a bit of corn, I think. There we are. I'll take that, I think. That's probably going to be my last fish, I'd have thought. So not a hero's ending exactly. Ooh, but a nice one. A nice one to end the day on. So there you go. That was our little grayling trip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please remember to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Uh, it was a bit of a break from the Perch Masters but one of those is being shot next week, so keep an eye out for that. But until then, look after yourselves and be lucky. <laughs>